Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Google, Amazon. All these handle billions of data each day, countless new IDs are signing up, and a lot of new things are happening every second. But how are all these controlled so smoothly? Where do they store this unfathomable amount of vast data each day? This is why companies maintain high-tech data centers to ensure secure and reliable storage of digital information. These centers facilitate efficient data processing, support complex computational tasks, and enhance overall business operations. But how does this data center actually work? Come on, let's take a tour of one such high-tech data center to understand that better. Welcome back to Infinite Innovations Tech. And today we will take a peek into the Amazon data center and check out state-of-the-art server rooms, advanced systems, work modules, and redundant power setups to witness the infrastructure supporting seamless and reliable data storage and processing. Amazon Web Services, AWS, is a massive force in the digital era, providing the computing power that supports numerous organizations like Netflix, BMW, Disney, GE, Tinder, and even the CIA. It generates tens of billions of dollars annually, and if you've been on the internet recently, chances are you've used AWS without realizing it. But what exactly is AWS, where is it, and how does it operate? Let's explore an AWS data center to find out. While Amazon's delivery services boast a well-established brand, the same cannot be said for AWS and its expansive network of massive data centers. Yet it is these colossal server farms that serve as the indispensable backbone for the remarkably successful AWS division. The roots of AWS can be traced back to a pivotal 2003 meeting held at CEO Jeff Bezos' lake house. Despite Amazon's thriving status post.com bust, the company grappled with the challenge of establishing an internal server capacity. Out of this conundrum emerged a plan for a swift and scalable server infrastructure. Forward-thinking individuals recognized the potential to transform it into a service that Amazon could extend to other companies. Presently, AWS stands as the driving force behind a staggering 60% of Amazon's profits, generating approximately $50 billion annually. The question arises, how does AWS achieve such remarkable success? The answer lies in its adept handling of other companies' technological challenges within the expansive realm of the cloud. In the contemporary landscape of startups, the necessity to heavily invest in servers and IT personnel has been replaced by a more flexible and scalable solution. Companies no longer need to own their computing power outright. Instead, they can seamlessly rent it from Amazon. This revolutionary model, known as the cloud, empowers companies to tailor their server usage according to their dynamic needs. The actual hardware used by AWS is kept confidential by Amazon with even clients not granted access to their rented data centers. And the locations of these facilities are not publicly disclosed. However, it's known that in regions like Loudoun County, Northern Virginia, AWS operates at least 50 data centers, covering millions of square feet. Amazon is continually expanding with plans for additional capacity, such as a 100-acre site near Dulles Airport in Northern Virginia, for which the company reportedly paid $73 million. When you enter an AWS data center, like the one near a pet resort in Sterling, the first thing you'll notice is the intense focus on security. The facility is surrounded by high fences, guarded by security personnel, and equipped with multiple layers of intrusion detection systems, including cameras. Access to the data center is highly restricted and requires two-factor authorization at least twice during a visit. If access is granted, which is rare, visitors are always accompanied by an authorized AWS staff member. After passing through the outer security layer, you reach the infrastructure layer. This is where critical systems such as backup power, fire suppression, and HVAC, air conditioning, are located. AWS prioritizes the reliability of its data centers, ensuring redundancy in water, power, telecommunications, and internet links. With up to 80,000 servers in a single data center, constant monitoring of temperature and humidity is crucial to prevent overheating. Any minor anomalies, like a door being open longer than usual, trigger alarms. Access points are reinforced with multi-factor electronic control devices. If a data breach is suspected, the relevant server is automatically disabled and shut down. Security systems undergo regular audits throughout the year, following a comprehensive 2,600-point checklist supervised by external bodies. 
External auditors have the authority to request access to various elements within the data center, including logs, security footage, and even the cameras themselves. AWS staff members are randomly selected for interviews about topics like media disposal, ensuring compliance with strict metrics. Let's take a closer look at the actual hardware used by AWS. Amidst all the emphasis on high-level security, it's easy to forget that AWS data centers are essentially massive collections of servers. A typical AWS data center can accommodate anywhere from 50,000 to 80,000 servers, consuming a combined power of 25, 30 megawatts. AWS could potentially double the size of these data centers, but Amazon carefully considers the scale to balance costs and benefits. According to James Hamilton, a distinguished engineer and AWS VP, there's a point where increasing the number of servers and racks per center no longer reduces incremental costs. Hamilton referred to this as the blast radius, highlighting the potential impact of a failure in a larger data center. Despite this, AWS data centers are still sizable, with 80,000 servers designed to handle around 102 terabytes of data per second. Terabytes of data per second. Hamilton also mentioned that the bandwidth within the data center exceeds this capacity. Amazon, known for its vertical integration strategy, has optimized its servers significantly over the years. Unlike other server infrastructure providers, AWS has a clear understanding of its users and their specific needs. This focus allows the company to create more efficient server architectures, optimizing even mundane software operations down to the hardware level, leading to faster processing times in nanoseconds. Initially, AWS purchased standard servers from traditional suppliers, but over time, it developed its own servers tailored for optimal performance in AWS environments. AWS has gone further by creating its own Graviton chipsets, utilizing the power-efficient ARM architecture. This move deviates from the long-standing partnership with Intel and its x86 architecture. The Graviton chips, now in their second generation with a third in development, provide AWS clients with 40% better price performance, essentially offering supercomputer-level power to regular commercial users. In simple terms, an AWS, Amazon Web Services data center is like a massive digital warehouse that stores an incredible amount of data. Picture a giant room filled with stacks of servers, each holding a mind-boggling 11 petabytes of data that's equivalent to a million gigabytes. Now, imagine this setup repeating many thousands of times across numerous data centers worldwide. To ensure speedy and efficient communication between these data centers, AWS uses advanced networking technology. The routers they use have custom-designed chips, ASICs, that support 128 ports with super-fast 25 gigabit Ethernet connectivity. This is a step up from the standard speeds used in the industry. Connecting all these data centers is a crucial network called Amazon's Private 100 Gigabit Ethernet. This network links 25 international regions and 80 availability zones, ensuring the security and backup of vital client information. AWS goes the extra mile by laying its own undersea cables to enhance connectivity. Now let's talk about keeping all this technology cool. In Loudoun County, Virginia, AWS is mindful of its environmental impact, so it uses reclaimed water for cooling. This means they don't consume large amounts of local drinking water, which would be a public relations nightmare. In other locations, AWS has its own water treatment systems to prevent pipes from clogging. To power these colossal data centers, AWS doesn't rely on traditional power companies alone. In some cases, they've taken matters into their own hands by building their own power substations. This ensures a stable and ample power supply for all those servers, eliminating the need to wait on external companies to keep everything running smoothly. The dedication to efficiency and self-sufficiency is quite impressive. The day-to-day -day operations within an AWS data center are often likened to an emergency room for computers. Given the immense amount of hardware, issues inevitably arise causing systems to seize up, stop responding, or necessitate a reboot. A dedicated team of technicians, following meticulously detailed playbooks, takes on the tasks of fault-finding and upgrading equipment, addressing almost any conceivable issue that may arise. Supervisors set metrics that encourage teams to work swiftly and efficiently to ensure the smooth functioning of these colossal data centers. The working environment is described by some as cold, 
and the noise level is notably high due to the sheer volume of equipment humming and buzzing. Looking ahead, the expansion of AWS data centers is anticipated to continue at a rapid pace. From early 2020, a new AWS center opened in the Northern Virginia area every three months, contributing to a total footprint of around 1 million square feet. This expansion is not limited to a single area, suggesting that more and even larger data centers are on the horizon. The significance of these vast data centers in supporting various aspects of modern life is considerable, yet it often goes unnoticed. These facilities play a crucial role in the functioning of numerous online services and applications that people rely on daily. The sheer scale and complexity of these operations are part of a silent backbone that powers much of today's technology-driven world. But here, the question arises, do these data centers receive the credit they deserve for their role in underpinning the infrastructure of modern life? Share your ideas in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and remember to hit the bell icon to receive an update. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, check out the next one to know how ChatGPT can help you even in the field of data analytics. See you at the next one.